Now let's understand a very important concept in shearing stresses that is shear center. Now what is shear center? By definition, it is a point about which the applied force is balanced by the set of shear forces obtained by summing shear stress over the entire section. In simple languages, if you look at this section and this is an angle and this is a C section okay, or a channel section. Let's first of all understand this for a angle. Now this angle is bending basically. Okay, so you can see these arrows which show the flow of shear stresses in this section. So this is how the shear stresses are being developed in the direction. Now the resultant of this force and this force but obviously has to be the corner. Okay, so unless and until, unless and until if I apply a force at this point, F, okay, if I apply force at this point, which will balance this resultant which is coming out of this corner, okay, it will twist. So it is already bending, bending is already taking place, okay, but to avoid, to avoid twisting, I have to apply the load or the shear force at such a point so as to balance the resultant of the shear forces produced by the shear stresses in the section. So this is the direction of shear stresses and this is the direction of shear stresses. So the direction, so this is uh, one, uh, this is one direction, this is the other direction. The resultant of these two will be in this direction. So to, to balance out this resultant, I have to apply shear load in this direction only, so as to balance this out. This will stop the section from twisting. Okay, so this is how you apply a shear load to avoid twisting. Uh, twisting. And this point at which the shearing force is being applied to avoid twisting with bending is called the shear center of twist. Okay, now if you look at this channel section you can see that this is the uh, distribution of uh, shear stresses in this leg this is in this leg and this is in the upper leg now this resultant or this force f and that force f are balanced for you know they are in equilibrium so there is no resultant for these two forces but if you look at the force in this direction it is still unbalanced Right, so in order to avoid twisting again, I will have to apply the load at a point which is away from the plane of the section. So if you apply force over here, this will counter this force. And because it is a little bit eccentric, it will avoid the twisting. So this, this point over here is called the shear center which is basically balancing the set of shear forces it's as simple as that so, so in a nutshell shear center is that point at which you apply the shear force to avoid the twisting of the section okay and it balances the shear forces which are produced by the shear stresses in the section so this is how simple it is now this is all that we have to cover in this chapter of shear stresses in beams. Now we look at some questions on the shear stresses in beams.